Hello and welcome to Mosaic Arts Online and all about Smalti. I am Annabella Weber and in this online course we're going to talk all about Smalti. We're going to discuss how it is made and how to get from the pizzas and tortillas to smaller pieces that we can manipulate with with nippers. Uh, I do cut with hammer and hardy but we use the different kinds of, of, of nippers available and discuss what their pros and cons are. Uh, we cut triangles and trapezoids and sticks in a variety of, of materials and then uh, on the sample I use some of what we cut to just sort of show a little bit of dimension and how to use the thin set to our advantage and how to compensate for when we don't have necessarily perfect cuts. Uh, we facet, which is a lot of fun because it's reflective and great. Um, and we talk about safety all around the studio and how to you know keep accidents from happening. We talk about sample boards and how we order our material and a little bit of gradation and a tiny little bit of, of, of andamento and I hope you enjoy it. Annabella, thank you so much for coming to do this online course. You come a long way and we are so lucky to have you here for this topic which many people have been asking about. You're welcome. This fun is, to be here. Oh, always. It always is fun to have you here. <laughs> and um, this course is really about an introduction into Smalti. And I'm going to let Annabella tell you a little bit more because really we didn't make a project in this course, but you really go over, give a little bit more elaboration of what exactly, you know, you do discuss in this. So we, we went from big pizzas and, and tortillas to small pieces that we can, that we can manipulate with our nippers. And, and really tiny pieces in some instances, like over there. Um, we talked about the geometry of of the 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 pieces the the pieces that the mosaic comes in, or the smalti comes in, and talked about how to save material and how to cut, or how to plan our cuts so that we are mm -hmm. efficient in what we get, but also save the smalty. Yeah, I think a lot of people um, purchase smalty and then they're like, what do I do with it? Yeah, I and think people get afraid. They get afraid and intimidated <laughs> and it is an expensive um, tessera to work with and even these that are so gorgeous, this Italian pizza or this Mexican tortilla, they're so beautiful but it is like, what do I do with that? What do I do with this? And Annabella, really, you break it down, even using nippers, how to make this a, you know, a, a achievable sort of um, experience for people. Yeah, well, it is unusual for me to be using nippers. Yes, we um, know. So, <laughs> so I practiced a bit. And really a before. blister. And yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I, I did. I spent, you know, two or three days, like, really just practicing cuts uh, to familiarize, familiarize myself with it again. Uh, so it's it's possible. It's possible to learn how to cut in just a few days. Well, exactly. I think that it shows you exactly it. Annabella is known for working with Hammer and Hardy exclusively, but it was important to me that we showed everyone how to use both because I think a lot of people realize they can work with the nippers in this Mexican and Italian smalty, especially when like the Mexican comes like this in these cuts in, you know, either quarter pound or half pound or whatever bags and the Italian the same that you can use these nippers and we took the pin out so this could be wider and we used um, these sterrets that are not you know inexpensive those are expensive tools but they can give you really straight cuts and we do the montelet so yep. we really cover a lot of how achievable it is and then really just practice right so tell more about the piece and why it's <laughs> not it is not like an Annabella oh my piece kind of like the one back here is <laughs> but it's more about we all have to practice and that's what this we wanted this to be it was all about practice and it, go on. Sorry. Yeah, I no, I just wanted to to show different dimensions and, and we did a bunch of faceting so that's really exciting to use because mm -hmm. it's just Lots so of pretty. Uh, but also how you can successfully have really big pieces right next to tiny little pieces. It's all about design but uh, and we are addressing the smalty and how to work with it more than than the design but it was important to also learn how to cut gold 
which we don't have any of here, but it is in this piece and we addressed it um, during the, the yeah. course. Yeah. And we give you um, different places that you can purchase your Italian or the Mexican Smalti. So that's in the resource page as well, as well as all the tools. So literally this course is a dive in, not be afraid, have a good time kind of Smalti course. <laughs> it was fun. It, it was is a fun. Lot of fun. Yeah. And it really is a gateway to Annabella's other courses where you get more into on demento and really learning how to create beautiful lines. So I can't thank you enough for coming and doing this course. You're welcome. It was so, so fun. Thank so, you. So, so fun.